Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll be having a look at Lucid Air and the first electric car with a 520 miles EPA rated range. This is a huge deal. Lucid's motor Air Dream Edition has received an Environmental Protection Agency rating range of 520 miles, making it the longest range EV ever rated by an agency. The EPA rating certifies Lucid claim from over a year ago that its forthcoming electric sedan will be the longest range production EV on the market. It also represents a victory for Lucid Motor CEO and CTO Peter Rawlinson, who led the development of the Model S when he worked at Tesla, and has said that the Air will outmatch Elon's Musk company in terms of range, luxury, acceleration, and price. Now, in my opinion, I think those are some bold claims. But this new model that claims to be able to achieve 520 miles is certainly impressive. The Air Dream Edition best its longest range Tesla, the Model S Long Range Plus, by over 100 miles. But that is added range will come at a cost, with a Dream Edition with 19 inch wheels starting at $169,000. If that sticker price is too pricey for you, it might be best to wait until 2022 when Lucid plans to release a base model that starts at $77,000 US dollars or $69,000 US dollars with a federal EV tax credit. Now the EPA also rated the various trim levels such as the Dream Edition with a 21 wheel inch, the Air's 113 kilowatt per hour battery pack as well as its aerodynamic design helps to contribute to the vehicle's impressive range. Of course, the range is highly subjective and the EPA rating is meant to represent a snapshot, a snapshot of Air's performance under specific conditions of the agency test and processes. It typically includes factors such as steep hill climbing and effectiveness of cold weather. So the EPA estimates including EV range are meant to be a general guidelines for customers when comparing vehicles. The agency has said this on its website, just like your mileage, you may vary for gasoline vehicles, your range will vary for EV vehicles. Now EV range is determined independently by the EPA as well as a European worldwide harmonized light vehicle test procedure which are typically more optimistic than the EPA. The network California based company which recently went public is gearing up to start delivering its first vehicles to customer later this year and it's already built more than a hundred near final quality versions of its new factory in Arizona. Lucid is hosting a production preview at its advanced manufacturing plant factory known as AMP-1 in Casa Grande, Arizona at the end of September. So it seems like this has already occurred because we're now at the start of October. But more importantly that we can get into is Lucid Air. The Lucid Air has been in works for a very long time, as most of us know, nearly a decade by some accounts. Now there's been many EV startups that have struggled to raise money and very nearly went out of business. But thanks to timely investments from Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund, in which it puts its own intellectual properties as collateral and a recent SPAC deal that leave the company with 4.4 billion in cash, Lucid Motors is now on track to start delivering its EVs to customer later this year. So this is really exciting news for, for Lucid Air to be honest. Now the company is opening up design studios just like Carl in, in bustling neighborhoods around the country in the hopes that reopening economies and increasing foot traffic will send more EV curious customers to their way. Lucid is about to get involved in its first very competitive market. The luxury EV segment is already crowded with likes of the Aldi e-tron, Jaguar I-Pace, the Polestar 2 Porsche Taycan, including the Mercedes EQS, the BMW i4 and the Lexus LF. These are some serious competitions for Lucid to be honest, but considering how well Lucid is doing with its range on its vehicles. I don't think that they've got too much to worry about because, because it's clear that they've got promise in technology. However, their software side of business, I can't be so certain about because I've never used a Lucid vehicle. 
and I guarantee you when these vehicles hit the road or, or when these vehicles are delivered to customers, I wouldn't be surprised if customers experience troublesome issues with their EV vehicle software, with their Lucid vehicle software. Because it's extremely difficult to get software right, especially software within vehicles. Building computers, complex computers and vehicles is something relatively new. Now we've always put small computers in vehicles such as navigation system, everything that controls your display in your vehicles, that's a small computer. But EV vehicles are becoming more and more advanced. Just the other day, I've seen people mining Bitcoin using EV vehicles such as Tesla. However, for new companies such as Rivian, Lucid, they will struggle to get the software correct. But after a few years, I guarantee you, they will catch up to Tesla. It doesn't take that long to make your software consistent and reliable. It really doesn't take that long. But a lot of these companies, they will make mistakes and that's okay to make mistakes. Tesla made plenty and so will other EV vehicle manufacturers. It's important that we do not criticize because a lot of us don't know what it takes to build an EV company and to run an EV company successfully. So we must be careful and try to reserve criticism and be extra cautious because at the end of the day, we want EV companies to do well. We want them to do well and so this will give us the consumers better options and cheaper options so criticizing these companies will only be bad for us technically naturally i think it's brilliant that lucid vehicles are finally in productions and some of these vehicles will be delivered to customers before the end of this year this is exciting rivian is now in production with their vehicles and are already delivering them to people so this is quite exciting time. The end of this year is really exciting for EV vehicles overall. And in additional news, there's also Polestar is another EV company that will be going public soon through a SPAC merger. And I've got to say, they've already got this quite figured out. It's almost, it's guaranteed to happen. It's just a matter of time later this year. So it's an exciting end of year for EV vehicles all across the world, all across the board. And this is exactly what we need, more competition that will push Tesla, push Porsche, push Mercedes, push BMW, push these legacy automakers and these new EV manufacturers to create new and better technology. This is good for us all. This is good for us as consumers. So now that we've covered the important parts of this video, thank you for watching, subscribe, leave a like. And I know this news might be old to some of you, but I still had to deliver this news in my own way and talk about it and voice my own opinion on everything. Despite the fact that this news has been public for quite some time, not just the manufacturing and production of Lucid Air vehicles, but also the incredible 520 miles range EV that Lucid has developed. It's incredible, I had to talk about it. So thank you for watching this video, subscribe, and naturally, I will see you in my next video.